Hey there, Fight here with a quick demo video showing you how to actually set up a survey, how this you know, works in the background, if you like. So in order to like make this come alive, I've designed this little case study. So this is basically a, you know, a, a graph, if you like, sort of an intelligent way of asking questions. So the first question would be, where are you and I am at the moment? And then, you know, you've got three choices. Either you know exactly where you're at and you look for specific advice on specific topics, and in which case we want to talk to someone one-on-one. -on -one. Another one could be that you kind of you figured out what the what you want to do, but there are always obstacles out of nowhere. It's like you know this didn't work or that didn't work, and they could fall into three categories. So there's another uh, survey with three options here, namely: is it traffic? Do you struggle with traffic? Do you tra uh, struggle with conversions? Or is it simply too much work? In the sense of what you've got works, but you need to do so much of it to reach the income goal you've got that you can't possibly do it. So you kind of need to outsource or automate this kind of stuff and you know it would be too much work and the last option is you need clarity you you're beginning and you really don't know where to begin and in which case we've got a webinar so what we've got here is basically uh, one two multiple choice options and then we've got one where, where we an endpoint where we redirect to a you know hey talk to us and we've got four endpoints where in one we say look here's a webinar and here we might have three pdfs and of course of course, at each of these, you can sign up people. So these are people who are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching. These are people who are mostly interested in traffic. Here are mostly interested in conversions. This is people who kind of you know, need some help automating this whole thing. And here is people who need a webinar. So let's look at this in practice. So we'll go in here and say we want to create a new survey. And what we need to do now is why we call this, you know, um, state of I am of I am, it's a survey, it's active, we use uh, a webinar and we use go to webinar. And then we say we want to have this as a pop-up and it's going to show just on the home page, just for kicks, all right, just on the home page. And uh, no stats at the moment, obviously. And then we go, here are the questions. Right, now I can add three different things. Um, multiple choice, of which we need two, if you remember. So we need, this is a multiple choice up here and the obstacles is multiple choice because there are multiple answers. Um, open questions I didn't put in, but we can, you know, easily at some point we could say, you know, oh, by the way, before you go to the webinar, what's your number one question? Boop, and you go. And then we've got endpoints, which are these points here. That's an endpoint, 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 endpoint. So one, two, multiple choices, and one, two, three, four, five endpoints. So we go multiple choice. And we need another one. In general, well, you know, it doesn't matter. You, I could go go in now and go and edit this, and, you know, put all the stuff in there, or you know, my preference is I just lay out this whole thing and put them in all in one. So I need five endpoints. I quickly pause this video. Okay, I'm back, and here we go. Uh, we've got two uh, multiple choices and five endpoints. Now what I'm going to go in is and basically give these things names, okay? There's a question attached to each of these. So the first one would be like, you know, where are you currently in I am? The second one is called obstacles. And then we need to give these things logical names so we know how this all hangs together. So I'm going to just going to show you one more, one time here. Where are you currently in, currently in I am? Question mark. Okay, that's the question. Uh, the question. I, that's my internal title, and that's the question text that's going to be displayed. Um, what I'm going to do now is pause the video and do this for all seven. So you see how it works. You don't really need to sit here and you know watch me do this for five uh, for like three minutes. Okay, I'm back, and you know, I've entered all the titles here. You recognize these very currently, and I am. What's your number one obstacle? And then the endpoints I've called coaching offer, traffic PDF, conversion PDF, too much work PDF, and clarity webinar. Now what you do is you basically link them together. I think that was the biggest question people had. You know, how do we link this up very easily? Well, you go in here and you say, uh, where are you currently in I am? I need to add a couple of choices. If you remember, there are choices. No, exactly, obstacles or clarity. So we go add choice and add a choice and add a choice so these are my three choices and I'll quickly pause this go in you know, as usual there's your choice text I'll just do this all for three uh, for, do this all for three <laughs> I think oh, four for three see in a sec so here we go I've entered the text I know exactly what I need can you help I know what I want I go about keep running, running into obstacles I need clarity no idea how to get started so we go up here Oops, no, there we go. So this is my the preview of my form. Well, at the moment, that's very boring, isn't it? So how about we go and select a background? And by the way, 
this is now pretty much it, okay? So now I've set up my, my first node, and what I can then do is like, okay, I know exactly what I need. When people enter this and say, I know exactly what I need, they can click on there, and the next question then is, well, which one of these is? If I know exactly what it is, I want to go to the coaching offer. If I know what I want, I keep running into obstacles. I want to uh, go to the uh, second you know, multiple choice thing. What's your number one obstacle? By the way, this is popping off the screen because I'm uh, just here. So you see, this is better, isn't it? So, um, so next question here would be, what's your number one obstacle? So that takes them to the next multiple choice thing. And the last one, I need clarity. Well, that goes, if you remember, to the, and now I need to, uh, help. I need to move this up a bit so you can see this. That is going to take them to the Clarity webinar. So that's how you tie these things together. Okay, and then once that's set up, um, you can then go to the next one and basically set up the, the next points like that and all the way through. So that's basically it. So they're all tied together nicely now. And then all you do is you need to design this quite nicely here. You've seen the demos on the on the um, sales letter uh, or in the video at the top. You know, it's very easy to go and select whatever. Uh, can I see if we've got some nice images here. There we go. That's quite inspiring, isn't it? Insert into post. I want to make that a little bit bigger because I want the whole image to show. All right. Okay, it doesn't quite fit into my screen here. There you go. And then I redesign you know, the... Uh, the question, for example, I want to have a, a larger, I want to have impact, I want to have the color white, and I want to have this really big, so 36, whatever, boom, and I want to have a centered, and so on and on. You design the size of this, different button, ba 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 ba. That's it. But in terms of workflow, I've just taken this here, and you, all you need to do is like, okay, one multiple choice, two multiple choices, how many endpoints, what kind of endpoints are there? Uh, what I didn't do in this example is enter sort of open questions. You know, you could do that here. Hey, what do you need clarity on? What's your number one question? Or same here, before signing up people to an email address, you say, look, you know, uh, what's your number one traffic question? Boom, sign them up. Cool. I hope that answers your question or your questions around how to tie these things together. It's basically by setting up the correct type of question and then tying them together by saying, look, the next question is this one here. And just go to your drop-down box and pick the next question. And of course, when you have no multiple choice things, but for example, just a, you know, a form with a, a question, or you can have even a splash screen where you say, look, oh, you say you know exactly what you need, or say, let's look into traffic, okay? Then you can have a splash screen that quickly says, well, the main problem with traffic is this, da 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 have an X button at the bottom. Uh, in that case, you don't really need these things in the next question. And what you do then is you go up here and say, look, the next question after my splash screen is the following. Cool. Alrighty, go and have fun with this.